Today we're getting fancy like, and you can too. A centuries old company has brought a glamorous feeling to the heart of Pittsburgh. It's all about creating perfume. It's a cool experience for someone who has everything. And Daisy wanted to check it out and she took Mikey and Selena along for the sweet smelling trip. Well, we're here at House of Handsome, which is listed as one of the top five luxury barbershops in the world. But did you also know it is the only place in the country where you can create your own unique perfume and cologne? And we're going to go ahead and check it out right now. Oh my gosh, Michael, this space is beautiful. It's great to I meet appreciate you. That. Nice to meet you as well. Yeah, and so tell us about this place. Uh, so, this is Gallimard, Pittsburgh. Uh, we co-branded with Gallimard in 2019. Okay. Gallimard is the world's first perfume house. It was established in 1747 in Grasse, France. I did the workshop in 2019 and was just blown away by it and was told there was nothing like this in the U.S., so we decided to open one. So you actually teach people how to do this process. Yes, we have cologne and perfume creation workshops. They're two hours long, and we teach people using base notes, heart notes, and top notes, blending them harmoniously to create their own custom scent. We then uh, bottle it, label it with a name that they chose. We keep a reference number on file in the case that they ever run out of their scent. They can call us, we'll remake it for them, have it ready for, have it ready for them to pick up. Oh, Michael, I love this. We need to get started with this process. Excellent. Well, I couldn't experience this myself, so I had to invite the girls. We've got Mikey and Selena here to enjoy the process too. So after a brief lesson on how Gallimard first started, Michael then seated us in front of what he explains to be the perfume organ, which is comprised of 127 notes. Okay, so we're gonna do some olfactory testing first. This is gonna tell me what notes your nose is naturally drawn to. Uh, there are traditionally 14 scent families. I'm gonna have you smell all of the bottles. You're gonna pick your top three, and then I want you to pick your top one. This top one determined our scent family. From there, we continue to put our sniffers to the test with good old process of elimination. All perfumes or colognes consist of base notes, the foundation, heart notes, the body or soul, and the top notes, which are the first impression of the scent. And our job was to find our favorites from all three levels, combining those notes harmoniously to create a balanced and well-rounded formula. Then came the fun part giving this perfect blend a name. Well, I named mine Summer Days because there's a lot of fruity notes, ocean notes, and it reminds me of just enjoying a summer day, my favorite time of year. Mikey named her signature scent In the Dark, based off of its sultry, sexy vibe. Selena, with the help of Mikey, named hers On the Porch because of its fresh, fruity, and floral scent. It was such a cool process to mix all of the scents together and really create your own unique fragrance. The I can't wait to come back, I want to bring my mom. This would be a really fun Mother's Day treat for her. I've always wanted a signature scent and now I have one on the porch. I'm wearing it the rest of my life. Michael, I am so excited about my Summer Days perfume. I'm definitely going to be coming back. Excellent. This is perfect for uh, date night, ladies mm. night, guys night, double date night, uh, corporate events, yeah. uh, work bonding parties. Bachelorette parties, you know. Wedding parties, groom parties. Yeah, well this is amazing and it's so cool to know that we have this unique experience right here in Pittsburgh. I'm going to cherish this forever. Thank you so much and let's smell it. <laughs> that is so fun. Such a unique experience, too. So if you made one, do you have a name for your cologne? What would you call yours? Uh, I don't know. Would you have a name for your perfume? I'm stalling so to give you an answer. So you threw me, you <laughs> threw me under the bus. Uh, I, don't, I don't have a name. I liked all their names. And I, here's the thing. We need to invent smell-o-vision because yeah, like all of us needed those. to be able to smell that. That's so cool. Yeah, I don't know what I would call it. Like, Rustic I like, armor. I like I don't, florals I don't know what that means. without <laughs> vanilla. Yeah. I don't like vanilla. I li yeah. I'm not a big vanilla pan fan. Okay. Pan. <laughs> we should go and put mix something up. I love it. It really looks like fun. Well, for more info on the history of Gallimard and House of Handsome, check out our website, PittsburghTodayLive.com.